Okay, Joe, you seem to be doing well with your transplant. Doctors say you're about 90% healed, so I guess this is our last visit before you go back out to the world with your new hand. I want it off. <laughs> what? Why? I don't trust it. Why not? Because... Because it's white. I think it knows. I'm telling you, this hand doesn't respect me, okay? See, at first I thought it was my imagination, but... The... See, it's mocking me. Mocking me again, Norm. I'm telling you, this is a racist hand. Well, it's unusual, Joe, but it's not necessarily racist. <laughs> yeah, see? There it goes again. You see what it's doing? Just like the white man, the white hand has an insatiable curiosity about the black man's hand. <laughs> cracker hand. Use a cracker hand. C-R-A-C-K-E-R. Uh, do you think there might be some other explanation for this? No. It doesn't like black people. The hand doesn't like any black people. Well, it likes Brian Gumbel. <laughs> he loves some Brian Gumbel. Up there every morning watching Brian Gumbel. See, look, 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 some Brian Gumbel. Shut up! Joe, there's a special kind of a hospital for people who talk to their hands. Maybe you'd like to go there for a while until we say that you can come out. Laurie, I have a better idea, you know? I think that the world is ready for a black hand and a white hand to live together in the same body, in harmony. That's right, black hand and white hand. A child is black, a child is white. The whole world is <laughs>